All right, what's going on, everybody? Josh Pocock here, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can use Olama models, OpenAI models, really almost whatever models you want on a self hosted GUI, a beautiful self hosted GUI called Open Web UI. All right, I'm going to show you how to set this up, how you can use it. You can use these local models such as Llama 3.1 such as uh, Quen2, Mixtro, whatever the case may be, as well as you can integrate them with a web search functionality so you can get live data on the web. There's a lot more uh, features and cool things like functions and all the, the tools and all these cool things within Open Web UI. We're gonna dive into it. Let's dive right in. All right, guys, so all links that we go over will be in the description down below so you can follow along with this video. Make sure you get everything installed correctly. But uh, here is Open Web UI's documentation, and here is their actual uh, GitHub. Let me just make sure I'm on. All right, so here is Open Web UI's GitHub, formerly Olama Web UI. I think they renamed just so they're not just exclusively to Olama. Uh, open web ui is ext uh, extensible feature rich and user-friendly self-hosted web ui designed to operate entirely offline it supports various llm runners including olama and open ai compatible apis for more information be sure to check out our documentation so you can use llm studio whatever the case may be so we'll go over a few key features and then we'll dive into it and show you how to get it installed so Key features, effortless setup, easy to install using Docker, Kubernetes, um, Olama, you can use CUDA, tagged images, um, Olama slash OpenAI API integration, effortlessly integrate those platforms as well as uh, you can customize the OpenAI URL to link with LM Studio, Grok Cloud, Mixtro, Open Router, and more. So that pretty much gives you the possibilities are endless almost with that capability. And then pipelines to so open web UI plugin support seamlessly integrate custom logic Python libraries into open web UI using pipelines plugin framework. Launch your pipelines instance, set the open AI URL to the pipelines URL and explore endless possibilities. And this is something I'll probably um, be doing some testing out on. Examples include function calling, user rate limiting to control access, usage monitoring, with tools like Langfuse, Live Translation, and uh, Libra Translate for multilingual support, and then Toxic Message Filter, and much more. So that is, this is Pipelines right here. I'll leave a link to that as well, but you can get it in their docs too. So this is their Agnostic OpenAI API plugin framework. Okay, Responsive Design, Progressive Web App for mobile, Full Markdown and LaTeX support, hands-free voice slash video call experience seamless communication with integrated hands-free voice and video call features allowing for a more dynamic and interactive chat environment so that's actually interesting i'm curious to see the video call i, I mean i wonder if that's like actually where you can like show the video and i mean I, I, that's interesting um mono builder easily create olama models via the web ui create and add custom characters agents customize chat elements and import models effortlessly through uh, open web UI community integration, native plugin function or Python function calling, enhance your LLMs with built in code editor support in the tools workspace, bring your own function. So BYOF by simply adding your pure Python functions, enabling seamless integration with LLMs, local rag integration. So deep dive into the future of chat integration with groundbreaking retrieval augmented generation support. We've covered a rag many times on this channel. So if you're not familiar with that, it's basically just a better way to get higher quality answers from your data, from your documentation. So that's really cool. This feature seamlessly integrates document integration uh, interactions into your chat experience. You can load documents directly into the chat or add them into your document library, library effortlessly accessing them using the hashtag the pound command before a query so that's really cool they actually have some really cool um kind of like shortcuts and i i really like that it's actually like they have it's it's better than like open ai chat gpt for that type of stuff 
um they have a lot of cool options and we'll, we'll show you that in just a second and then web search for rag perform web searches using providers like sir 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 x ng ng i always uh, say that not, um wrong but anyways google psc brave search serp stack serper serp league duck, duck, go and tavily search uh, i think there's actually another one too uh and inject the results directly into your chat so that's really really powerful because you can now use i mean there's other tools to do this but this is just really cool to have it in the gui um where you can use like web search uh, web browsing capabilities with pretty much any model and then image generation and your local models too the so llama 3.1 Phi, Quan, whatever. Image generation ca uh, integration seamlessly integrate incorporate image generation capabilities using uh, options such as auto automatic uh, 1111, 11, API, or comfy UI, local, and OpenAI's DAL DALI external, enriching your chat experience with dynamic visual content. Many models conversation. So this is pretty cool. I'll show you in a second. Effortlessly engage with various models simultaneously, harnessing their sh uh, unique strengths. Uh, for optimal responses enhance your experience by leveraging a diverse set of models in parallel and then rule-based access control um so restricted permissions etc multi uh multilingual support and then continuous updates so yeah they do a lot of updates it's this is a pretty popular uh um repo so anyways how to install it so installation with default configuration so there's different ways you can do it i'm going to show you the docker way um, so if you don't have Docker, download Docker. All right. You're also going to want, uh, if you're doing uh, local models, you're of course going to want to have Olama download. And I'm not going to cover exactly like everything with Olama right now, but essentially you just go here. I'll leave a link down below. You download Olama. You could even set up an account if you want, but then you just go to models. And to install models, it's very easy. You just click on whatever model you want. And then based on like whatever you're, um, system specs are and what you what model you want to install what your system can run you would like for example if we're installing the 8b model for llama we just copy this command and run it in our terminal okay and then we will have that on our system all right so the commands are right here for um you can literally copy and paste them for installing with docker um so if you're doing it on your own computer then you can use this if you're doing it on a different server then you would want to do this and change the olama base url to the server's url and then to do it with nvidia gpu support you would use this and then installation for open ai api usage only and then um installing open web ui with bundled olama support and i'll leave the the oh like this will be in the description down below so you can decide which one specifically you want i'll leave exactly to which one i use for my specific case to get it installed but uh, you may want to try a different method um depending on where how you're how you want to install it but then there's also also other installation methods they have a discord community you can check out troubleshooting here etc but once you do that you should have it installed and then you can go to uh right here it puts it on port 3000 you could change the port too though if you wanted to host it somewhere else right it's just putting that there you would go to localhost or wherever and then port 3000 and you would load it up so let's do that all right so once you load it up it's going to look like this it's going to have an off page so if you're new then you would just sign up create the account right here if you already have the account you would just sign in once you sign in it's going to look like this so it's kind of similar to what maybe like chat gpt ui looks like as you can see we have our chats over here we have workspace so you can go um, you can see different models right here you can discover model um we can see prompts so discover prompt from their community if you want you can create prompts so import prompts export prompts you could add one right here you could change this to like test right and you could see the command so if you would type forward slash test then this prompt would appear within your chat when you're typing it out you can also see here format your variables using uh square brackets like this so let's say if i had a prompt that was like um test and then name right so whatever like this is a variable in my prompt so i could have multiple variables like uh hot like hi and then um then you can also utilize this clipboard within two curly brackets right here 
and this would pay so that if i use this for example let's save and create this prompt i go to new chat i go forward slash test you can see this i'm gonna go so if i have let's just say so let me allow this it's going to ask to copy let me copy this so i have this text copied i'm going to um now i just click the prompt and look what it put hi name hi hello josh pocock how can i help you today right so it literally grabbed the clip uh the clipboard that i had copied and it put it here all right also you can see here too when i do it the name variable is highlighted so then i can just put like josh right whatever i want to do and it will automatically change that variable right so pretty cool with the prompt feature i really like that go back to our um, workspace so that's prompts um documents so this is where you can upload documents import document mapping export document mapping will automatic you can change like the um the chunking and all that good stuff i'll show you that in a second tools so you can import tools export tools discover tools so discover and download custom tools and uh yeah there's links to the community where you can see different tools other people have yeah functions so same thing um you can do the same thing with functions so pretty cool stuff um pretty powerful and then let's go to our settings here um so admin panel we can check that out go to settings so just to go over some of the settings here we have general settings enable new signups so you could do, you know change that there default user role um user pending admin and then show admin details in account pending overlay enable community sharing uh webhook uh user so permissions default model connections all right so this is where we can see like our open ai api key which you could change right you can put your api key here or your api base url right here and then the api key here all right this is like um uh olama api url uh api uh, base url so that goes there all right you can check to make sure verify connection here with both of these models so you can see your different models here you know delete a model create a model you can see um documents so this is where you can see like um uh, embedding model right here content extraction engine top k rag template and change this if needed um chunk size so 1500 chunk overlap 100 pdf extraction image ocr so uh, reset upload directory reset vector storage so pretty pretty cool that they have these native features and we have web search so if you want to use web search you can go ahead and enable this and then you have different options such as you know these ones you can use gina um different ones like that i just put brave just to test things out put my brave api key here but you can use whatever one you want and then you can change the search result count so 3 10 whatever concurrent requests here interface so we can see local models external models um yeah you can a lot of different options within the settings we have audio so text to speech um settings you know tts voice stt settings got whisper open ai web api um images got image generation engine automatic 11 11 11 all this good stuff pipelines so um this is what we kind of went over at the start manage pipelines no pipelines detected yet and then database download database export etc so if i just went over here you can see the chat interface this is like new chats the sidebar you would want to select a model so we got like our quens our our late llama 3.1 um we got some open ai like i could use even gpt 4.0 and then if i want to do web search i would click here this plus and i would click on web search um to toggle that and then i could just like ask it a simple question like um let's see 
All right, so please provide me in-depth research on the best bicep workout. So you can see here searching and it searched three sites just like we had it in the settings, but of course we could change this. So this is like leveraging, you know, something kind of like perplexity and I've done many perplexity alternatives on this channel, open source alternatives, which if you haven't checked those out, you can also check those out. But this is really cool. I really like the UI here as well as you can use this with local models. So this is super, super powerful. And you can see which sites we search. So Plant, <laughs> Planet Fitness, Gymshark, Men's Journal. And now we can see different bicep workouts. All right, training tips. And we can see um, different sources here. We can edit, copy, read aloud, good response, bad response, continue response, regenerate. So a lot of cool options. Um, you can even add another model. So if I wanted to use GPT-4.0 or... GPT 3.5 or a local model, whatever, you could select multiple different models and you could ask it to do the same for legs. And now, okay, so I just had too many requests for Brave, so that's just a Brave issue. But essentially, what it does is, um, you can, well, it's still somewhat worked. I don't know if it, um, I guess it just hit an API request or whatnot. Yeah, so it did only generate one using one, but essentially like what say if I turned off, like let's just say for example, new chat, uh, I'll select this and do another model and do like GPT four O and then hey what and then I'm not going to turn on web search just so we don't hit that brave API thing. What's a good bicep workout plan? And now we'll get two responses. One from one model, GPT 3.5 Turbo, and then here from GPT 4.0. All right, as you can see, this one's way better. But you can do this with open models. You can do this with really anything. So this is super, super powerful. Uh, here we can see chat controls, so we can see like different tools, functions, um, we can see advanced parameters such as seeds, like all these different ones, and you can um, like edit these, etc. So really cool stuff um, that this tool, uh, web, you open web UI has. Um, yeah, I just wanted to cover this tool for you guys. I'm going to be diving into it a lot more as well as trying out some of the pipeline function and, and the tools and all that stuff in the next few days. So if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments down below if you have any issues, whatnot. Uh, also too, guys, if you're new to the channel, we upload videos every single day on AI, automation, uh, business growth, marketing, sales, entrepreneurship, etc., coding, AI coding, whatever the case may be. So if you're new here, make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button if you got some value here. We're approaching very, very close to... Uh, 4,000 subscribers. So that's a gonna that's a big milestone. Um, I think we are at the time of recording this. I'm about we're about seven 30, 30 subscribers, 32 subscribers away from uh, 4,000 subscribers. This is like my 402nd video on this channel. So yeah, it's a slow but steady grind. We're getting there. We're gonna keep going, keep the value coming, keep increasing the quality content. So yeah, if you wanna be a part of the journey, make sure to drop uh, drop that subscribe. Definitely helps out. And uh, if you have any suggestions on how to improve, you know, different quality or just uh, what type of videos you want to see so we can continue getting better content that you guys like, let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, guys, also, too, if you haven't already joined our free Stride community, link for that will be in the description down below. StrideCommunity.com, our free Facebook group and free Discord channel where you can network with like-minded individuals, like individuals as well as myself. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.